What's going on guys, Kals the Huber here and today I disassembled this Clover Octahedron fragmentation. Actually I will just start assembling it and when I'm close to to the end then I'll film it. So here's my progress and I saw assembled on side and I'm not drinking. So here's my progress now. I have assembled these four sides and yeah I'm halfway done. Last piece. Yeah, I have assembled the Clover of the Hebron fragmentation. 
Now let's get all of this off of here. And yeah, it works! Yes! Finally! After like, I don't know, like... 3 or 4 hours of work... It works! I said that before! <laughs> so now I will tell you the whole story. So everything started when my dad popped the cube because it was already scrambled and I let him scramble it even more and he somehow popped it. Uh, then as you know if I assemble it like incorrectly then I wouldn't be able to solve it. So I disassembled everything and then I needed 11 bags to store all of those pieces because there are 11 different pieces. Then I put them on table like in groups and then I just started assembling it. I started by these big pieces then these pieces, these long pieces, and then put those in, and yeah, that I did for this, this and this part, then I did these little pieces and then put these big pieces in, and yeah, the rest was like the same, basically, so yeah. Uh, and also I used some scotch because if I didn't use it then uh, it would have just fallen apart while I was assembling it. So yeah, if you are trying to assemble like some big cubes or something like this then you need scotch. But yeah, I have assembled this and I'm pretty happy. Yeah, at least now I know how the mechanism works and everything. So yeah, hope you liked the video, give it a like if you liked it, also give it a like if you didn't like it, just give it a like. Also subscribe and as always, thank you for watching, bye. Libera con la papaya. No os entendería.